Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to properly light a scene with Polygon HDRs in Maya with Redshift. Okay, so this is the scene that we'll be using today. It's quite a simple scene, just a basic model of a house. There's no materials assigned to that or anything. It's uh, just the lighting that we're focusing on today. And we've also got a camera, uh, and yeah, that's it. So, first thing I'm gonna do is bring in a dome light, like so. And I'll move that over here, and I'm also going to up the scale a little bit, just so we can. Uh, ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Just so we can see it. There we go. Now this dome light is what we'll use to light our scene. So if I turn on our interactive rendering now, we'll see that we've got a nice white sort of light coming from that dome light, lighting our whole scene. But what we can do is insert a HDR into this to get the lighting via a texture. So I'll click on that, bring up the appropriate folder, there we go, and you'll see we've got a whole bunch of different uh, textures in there. Now it's the 16K EXR that I'm going to use first. And with that selected, I'll hit open, and then we have some lighting in our scene and it's looking pretty good. So what you could do now is just hit the uh, little rotation toggle there and rotate this around until you get some lighting that you like. In my case, I think, I think that works pretty nice. But we have a couple of problems. One, the EXR is huge. It takes up a lot of memory um, and it slows everything down. And also the backdrop is, tied in directly to our lighting. If I rotate this around, the background rotates with it. So to get, to get this type of lighting, I have this big, like, chunky building in the background, which, uh, which isn't ideal. So, let's do a few things to fix that. First of all, I'm going to load in the 2K version of this uh, EXR instead of the 16K. I'll just stop and restart the IPR because it sometimes doesn't realize that you've changed it. There we go. So we're still getting the same quality of lighting. If you concentrate on the house itself, the lighting looks exactly as it did before, so that's great. Um, you can tell, looking at the background though, uh, or you certainly would at a full resolution, that uh, it's a low resolution image. It would be a blurry background. So even if we wanted to keep that background, which we don't in this case, but even if we did, this wouldn't be an ideal solution because the resolution is too low. So what we're gonna do is add in a, another dome light like so, which I'll just drag over here, and I'll scale that up as well, just so we can easily grab it if we need to. And then this first dome light, uh, just for now, I'm gonna turn it off, okay? So now all of our lighting's being provided by, if I can select it, that dome light. And into that, I'm going to place the JPEG instead of one of the EXRs. Now you can't use a JPEG for lighting as I'll demonstrate in a moment because it doesn't contain enough data for the rendering engine to do anything with. See now it's it's in place, it's lighting our scene, we've got no real shadows, nothing at all, it's just a blank bland image. But we can use it for the backdrop. So what I'm going to do is untick both of these. So now it's not contributing to our scene lighting at all. This dome light is literally just going to be for our backdrop. So if I rotate this around, we want to get to roughly where we were, because you don't want to rotate it too far off, because then if there are any background elements that you're keeping, the shadows won't match and whatnot. So I'm just going to rotate it a little bit this way, get rid of this building, like so and then maybe tilt it down a little bit. Just a little. I'm still rotating around the other axis there, aren't I? Yeah. Just basically trying to hide our uh, trees and stuff. So we get a nice blank sky. There's a little bit of mountain there, but I think that'll work fine. So that's the, the background set up and good to go. And now what we can do is jump over to our primary uh, HDR, turn that back on, where we now get this kind of mixed, we've got our lighting back, but it's kind of 
mix the two backgrounds. Well, that's easy to fix. All we need to do is turn the preview visibility off and then set the uh, environment to dis disable the background in the environment. And now we have a backdrop that's just being supplied by one dome light and the lighting being supplied by the other. So in summary, we've downloaded some HDR files from polygon.com, brought them into Maya. We've set up a low resolution EXR to light our scene whilst using a high resolution JPEG to provide the background and rendered it all out with Redshift.